Five. We're on. There's still, there's still two games left. You can catch up. Catch up to what? <laughs> to, to what? Money. Money. <laughs> Don't catch up, bro. What if you get 3,000 points in the last two years? <laughs> <laughs> <Please. laughs> Not likely going to happen. Okay. I guess anything's possible, eh? Uh, uh, no. So we'll recap the office pools, hockey thing. Went through 82 games, 81 anyway. There's a couple more games left. We're going to recap. Yep. Harris Chain, Bassmaster Master Stop number... Three. And Number three, yeah. We're gonna talk Central Canada Kayak Trail. Yeah. We're gonna talk Bro Science. Malax is like catch and release, right? So yep. talk that. And we've got open season now. How they want to shut down clear water now? Yeah. They want to shut it right down, eh? Yeah, they do. CBC <laughs> was calling. They're going to throw their hash out there. <laughs> anyway. What a joke. Okay. Yep. yep. Well, the, if the Ford facing so good, then we should be able to find all the smallies in there. Then. That's what well, I'm afraid of. It wasn't that. It was uh, found two zebra mussels, so maybe they think there's only two in there. <laughs> in their heads. Oh, we'll shut the lake down and we'll put potash out and we'll kill them all. <laughs> Fucking oh, three. <laughs> Almost said the R word. <laughs> Say it. I can't believe that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> More government wasting money. That government. They should just grab a bunch of zebra mussels, go to every lake and throw them in there. Then we don't have to worry about it. It's done. Be done with it. So no more boats what? anywhere. <laughs> That's right. Kayaks right? only. Kayaks. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna have to wash these kayaks too. Eh? Well, don't put us in any red zones. Yeah, it's a big thing. If you're not in a red zone, then you're good to go, kind of thing. Yeah, that's right. Anyway. Oh well, what are you gonna do? <coughs> <coughs> Like, go along with it, I guess. I should take up smoking. We'll see if uh, Leon is migraine is gone and he can come recount his harrowing tale. That's why he's not coming on. <laughs> he doesn't have a migraine, he just doesn't want us to bug him. <laughs> his harrowing, harrowing tale. <sighs> Where's this out? Those are striped bass. Those aren't striped, those are real striped bass. I know, I'm just joking, bro. But they're, they're big. real strike bass. They're real strike bass, brother. Yeah. And they're massive, man. Yeah, anyway, let me get this photo here. I don't think anyone's. There are white bass. You watch, it's going to make a comeback. What? It's making a comeback this year. Why, Nash? Nash, man. Oh, don't yell into the mic, bro. I want to know when they're going to come on. Find balls, man. Nash, Nash will come in and uh, Nash will be uh, the guest. Nash is a guest. Yeah. Was he with you yesterday? At the thing, no. Not when we were kayaking, no. Yeah. Okay, good. Catch anything talk. yesterday or what? On the river? No. Not by rod and reel, anyway. Leon dead of cold. <laughs> here, I'll stop this. <laughs> I want him here. I want him here to. Recount his harrowing tale. It is Monday, April 15. We'll start the show in a second. <laughs> this is clear. Eric's still getting everything ready. Oh, man. And I started early. I started at 3.30 today. I didn't go to the gym. I had a, I had a freaking arm class or whatever. And still, bro, when I didn't have time. You went to the gym, eh? Sunday. This is a new you. A new oh, I've been going to the gym, bro. How often do you Regularly. Go, Even on my What's trip, it? I was on the gym. You know well, you can is... make coffee at home, eh? <laughs> what's what's regularly? Like every day. So you I was away day? for a week. I was away for a yeah. week. I was using the hotel one. I found an Altea in Toronto. Like, yeah. I'm going hard, bro. And the thing is, I was gonna do a before and after. You're like, you know, I was gonna be like Aldano and Kevin Lowen and stuff. Yeah. But it's too late. I'm already buff. <laughs> 
already, I didn't you already get buff. a chance to take a before shot. I'm already buff already and fit. <laughs> yeah, there goes that. So that, now you now you're gonna I be able you to without pass, a shirt pass like what, ten miles now, eh? <laughs> anyway, you, may, you might look like buff. <laughs> well, that, guy's that, guy's play hockey. Now, that guy's a fat master. Oh. <laughs> It is Monday, April 15, 2024. It's the Castanet Podcast, our second last episode of the hard water season. Although the last remnants of ice are just leaving now, the further you go up the province here. But that's good. Shout out to our sponsors yep. Piets West Campground Team Food Automotive, Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear, Big Smoke Barbecue, Gone Fishing, Tech Pity Security, and Island Beach Custom Lures. Uh, huge thanks to them. Two more episodes. Uh, we've got today, we're going to be recapping uh, the Harris Chain Elite event uh, at uh, Hanabas Elites. So we're going to launch the Central Canada Kayak Trail. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Some kayak fishing again. Uh, sharing spots. Some AIS discussion. Oh, uh, CBC and the radio stations were all over my messaging there. Like, ah, I'm in Toronto right now. I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Like, what? What's developed so new? Like, why do you guys want to talk about AIS again? Oh, it's okay if you don't know much about it. That's all good. <laughs> I go, what? I'm no expert. I'm a bro science. I said, I can speak to it. I, I, I can fill in 50 minutes if you wanted to. I said, but what, what new is developed? And something yeah. about Clearwater. What's happening on Clearwater now? Clear, clear, uh, clear Lake? Or Clear well, Lake and Riding clear Lake. Yeah. Well, okay, last year they banned... You weren't allowed to bring boats in unless they gave you a stupid sticker to put on your window at the beginning right. of the year, and you weren't allowed yeah. to leave. Now, all of a sudden, they get a brainwave. We'll just shut the whole fucking lake down. We'll throw some potash at it, and it'll all be good. Somebody must have a magic wand shoved up their ass, and they think it's going <laughs> to work. You know what? Just leave it alone. Let Mother Nature do what she's going to do. Uh, You're not going to kill them. So I guess Clear Lake was clear because of the zebras to begin with. They just figured it out, <laughs> Doctor. <Morris. laughs> it is a clear oh, lake, man. man. Oh, what's going is, on? If you what's never figure on? out that you know, first they want to kill all the smallmouth bass because they're invasive. Now they want to throw potash in there, so they're just wasting money. Like potash is like the standard. They tried it even on Lake Winnipeg, but it's. I mean, if you find two in there, that means there's two thousand and two million in a, in a couple of weeks. Exactly. And that, that's that, yeah. bro. By the time you guys Nothing. actually figure out how to throw the potash in the water, they're, they've spread so far. Too late, yeah. They'll be all over the place, man. Migraine yeah. City, Alien. If you feel better after, I'll send you the link, bro. You're going to need to recap. We're having a caption contest, bro. So a cow, oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Sorry. I got to jump all over the caption contest. We'll talk about that in a second. Are you sure you want to do that, brother? Yeah. Tony Sturridge. Sure? It's National Volunteer Week. So big shout out to the CDP Nation for all the support for the Kid Fish Derby. Ah, oh, fantastic. And uh, yeah, volunteers uh, for that and everything, everything, every, all the volunteer work that everybody does, especially in the fishing industry. Uh, uh, the whole local scene doesn't go by without uh, without volunteers. So I appreciate everybody. Yep. Hey, Bruce. Yeah. Hey, boys. Checking in from the outlet mall. Nice, bro. Everyone's shopping while you hang out in the hallway. <laughs> Use their Wi-Fi. Use their Wi-Fi, bro. Randy, B. What? Hey. It, it seems I'm, like balls. All they do is spend money. That family. That's ju Junior's. Yeah, he ain't. Well, he ain't just sitting there, man. He's buying. He's, he's buying something, bro. Flynn <laughs> flaunt to the Duck Mountain Splake now. Brandon Elliott, man, is that's awesome. It must be nice, man. Just fishing like crazy, bro. No kidding. Alan Ali, Devin Shep. I look forward to some big photos, though, man. The pressure's on, brother. The ghost of Lake Winnipeg. Ooh, sounds very ominous, brother. I think he's talking about the white bass and stuff. It's a real, real migraine, though. A real migraine. Yeah, the white bass. You oh. can say whatever you want. I'll never believe you. They're coming back. They're coming back. Oh, he's going to hop on. I will send the link then. Good evening, Mr. Simpson, fellow Canadians, and all our American friends watching from the States. I have a feeling Beast of the Week is going to be a, a U.S. citizen this week. Here's some crazy stuff being caught at Rainy River. We, yeah. we mentioned that a few weeks ago. If you want to go down there, shit, it's yeah. going, bro. 
and we're talking casting plastics oh, casting was, plastics bro i i just watched uh i just watched it on uh, youtube yeah 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 and yeah. uh he was saying that a lot of the americans didn't want to buy a one day pass for the canadian side where most of the fish were because they couldn't drink beer cuz <laughs> cuz of, of so, beer so they what? had the other side all to themselves nice I saw cool reels there uh, or on Instagram anyway. The sound of fishing, the guy has a cooler and it just you can just hear the telltale bottles eh, clinging against each yeah. other. <laughs> That's the sound of fishing right there, bro. Uh, yeah. Don't drink in, don't drink in boat though. Drinking fish, I guess, is cool as long as you're not boating. Unless you're not, <laughs> you're not boating. <laughs> Maybe Leon was drunk. Maybe that's that was the thing there. Maybe we'll get to the caption contest. I okay, here, look. Caption contest. I'm going to do one thing here. You see the pen? Oh. You yeah. See the pen? Looks about the same. What, <laughs> dude? Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Caption contest here. The, the, the best caption is going to get a, a brand new. This is brand new. Maybe not everyone wants it. This is gluten free. Catch and Cook has gluten free now. Uh, some people. I brought this into one of the stores in Osho. Get that shit out of here, he says. There's no gluten free in this store. That's not, that's not bro, I said you might, that's funny, you might have customers that can't have coatings and whatnot because it's gluten free. Get it out of here, he says. Hey, oh my god, he started laughing. It. But should have should have brought him a vegan burger then and yeah, see how he reacted. Ouch. If you don't want that, then then you'll get some lemon pepper. Then why not? To me, it does. Oh. Dave Simpson says flavor free. To me, free. everything's flavor free right now. <laughs> Blueberries, thanks, man. No, I, yeah, I got I got a coworker who's gluten free, man. He's got crankier ever since it happened, man. Mm. Well, <laughs> just cranky bastard. <laughs> winner is gonna get that. It tastes just as good, brother. Just as good. Just as good, Mister Esau. What's going on? Caption contest. The best caption. Uh, at the end of the show, we'll pick it. You guys will have to help me remember because you know my memory. But uh, best caption. <laughs> <You're>... Sorry, <Leon. laughs> Just yeah, best best caption here. So uh, put your thinking caps on there, and uh, then we'll get a catch and cook package there. Out there. Wow, that's that. Anyway, we were going to talk kayak fishing here and stuff, and a couple news and notes. Speaking yeah. of white bass. White bass. Like Liam, I'm being mean to Liam, but he, he pulled this up there. When you type in White Bass Manitoba, look at that good-looking guy who pops up on there. That's the first photo that I, I bet you when that picture popped up, he got all excited. <laughs> <laughs> that that's how he's not on right now, bro. He's he, yeah. some he doesn't have a migraine. He's, he's finishing. He's, up. <laughs> he needs some alone time right now, brother. <laughs> that's cool though. That picture's gonna, I'm gonna, gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Hey, where where are you gonna catch it though? You'll probably you'll probably see a freaking Sasquatch before a white bass in that lake. Bro, they're there. They're there. You might have to go a little further north. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have lake. to go way up north, man. Way Is up any north. windshields harmed in the taking of that picture? <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> if, if you know, you know, bro. <laughs> Speaking of oh my god <laughs> maybe something with bananas is gonna win this thing i don't know but uh that's cool that's cool that's cool stuff i'm gonna save that one for other time this is uh oh this popped up in my memories there which is cool well i gotta love facebook Mary. it's not the size of fish that matters it's the size of the smiles uh this is my girls this is way back that's Going a long back. time ago gna <laughs> gna tournaments i that's, miss those actually yep. those were good that's uh when they yeah. actually wanted to be on camera yep oh now they walk actually like the their fish man <laughs> covered and... to be honest i would still put them up against i would partner with them over a lot of other people still in a tournament like a real they, well, i guess they, when they, you learn young like it just muscle memory and it just you just have an knack for it i guess when you they could they could fish man each well, the other thing too is that they can yell at you and get away with it that too that too <laughs> Not here, and Dad. The, Not and here. And in other news, the river is projected to rise. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, oh. I don't know if Leah should come on anymore, dude. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, oh my okay. God! Okay, that's where it's going. Nice. <laughs> that's where. <laughs> nice. This guy's got smiles and big fish, though. Both. Oh. Both caught this beauty at the pier in Selkirk, Raymond Little says, and it's going on right there. Now, it is closed for most from Lockport to the lake. 
this guy's got the pass, apparently. I mean, I'm sure the comments blew up, bro, blew up. But uh, nice sturgeon regardless. That's cool. And you can see the water level is low. That's the biggest thing like that I've noticed. It's really low. You, like, you can yeah. see rocks at this time of year in April. It's low, Super man. low, man. Yeah. We knew that, too. There was no flooding this year and stuff, right? So yeah, uh, it's going to be an awesome. I mean, you're going to have leftover greenbacks in there when walleye opens. Or maybe they'll be gone by then, actually. Winnipeg Beach, shallow be. water. Yep. But yeah, cool stuff there. Nice work, Raymond Little. I was able to wet my first open water line last week. This was in uh, Sudbury, Ramsey Lake. Didn't catch shit. But <laughs> there's ice in, the, ice in the middle of that lake still, and I found some open water at the boat launch. So you're still uh, ice fishing then? Basically, half and half. It's like uh, Sudbury. I didn't know Sudbury, Ontario has the distinction of uh, having the most fishable lakes within city limits in Canada. Which really? is wild. Like that's cool. Like within city limits, there's a so I looked at the map and yeah, shit, that's true. There's a there's a shit ton of lakes in there. Now they have a really wide city limit. It's a whole bunch of cities and yeah. one there, but yeah, that's and that's cool, man. This is smack dab in the middle there. Uh, apparently there's all kinds of fish in there, so that's cool. Cool stuff there, man. Caption. Maybe I should put the live scope on the other side of the car. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he didn't even, if he had electronics, I tell you, they would have been <laughs> done. <laughs> they would have been done, bro. They would have been done. <laughs> Everyone's coming in. Devin Shep, overland flood warning for the north. 45 millimeters of rain forecasted. Is that true, though? Or are we talking about Leon stuff? <laughs> no, it's true. Oh, it's true. It's true? Yeah. Oh, shit. really? Up north. Well, they have more snow. That's why. They have more yeah. snow. Shit. 45 millimeters of rain. That's a lot, too. That was Leon, brother. That was Leon. That true. Was Leon. Oh, that is true. Man. Okay, okay. Leon, where's your net? <laughs> Actually, there was a net in all that mess. There was a net in there, too, bro. There was. And it still survived? He still it has survived. it? It's all, he did not lose anything. There were some good Samaritans on shore. and Yeah. Well, we'll let Leon explain. You know, I guess I'm going to send the email out to Leon here, and we'll get him oh, on. Oh, boy. I'll come in and recount. We'll give him his 10 minutes here and he will recount uh what happened there. This is cool. You think, I you think you'll remember? <laughs> you think you'll want to talk about it? <laughs> I've never seen this yet, though. This was cool. I saw this Watch off the freeway uh down there. Watch your fluid, you just pump it just like you're low on fluid. Yeah. Pump it in, like open up your hood and pump it in there, and you pay as much as you need, kind of thing. I mean, that saves on plastic. So you know, did like, they got carbon tax on that too? Probably water tax on it or something, but no, nah, this is environmentally know. friendly. How can you carbon tax that? It's freaking I don't know. That's that's well, they'll tax, they'll that's tax anything, shit. man. You'd have to you'd have to call it a different name, but not carbon. This is water, maybe chemicals in it, but I like that though. That's cool, actually. That's uh, good stuff. They should have that actually everywhere. Canadian tire shout out. Good stuff there, I guess. I don't yep. shut them out too much, but I like that. So, Leon, it's all for the catch and go say. <laughs> <laughs> Needs an outrigger on both that's, sides to even it out. <laughs> that's what I said yesterday. Right that, away. Is, yeah. that, like, is that like those pontoons or something? Yeah. One yeah, on yeah, each yeah. side. It's, Usually it's only on one side, but for him, we'll have to put them on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ibuprofen, he's here. <laughs> what happened, Leon? We are laughing at your expense, but. That, okay, that yeah, been, well, that, that could have been, yeah, that could have been tragic, like very easily, though. Well, no, and that's, and I know, and like, you know what, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm good with the laughs, but, uh, in all things serious, that was probably one of my, uh, scariest days that I've ever had, like, uh, personally, like, uh, number one, I'm not that confident in swimming. So, what happened, people, is it, I was literally like four feet from the launch at La Barrier Park in that kayak that I posted and I have been in that model before just in a different color. So maybe it was the banana that got to me. I, and uh, yeah, literally I slipped, I slipped over. I, I went over to the right. I started uh, wobbling because uh, you know, I'm in the best of shape anyways. I uh, tried to put my paddock up, paddle upright to stabilize myself. It's deep there though, isn't it? It's and like it's deep. Yeah. Like I was, I, yeah, I was literally like, I think maybe I had about that much, you know, about 10 inches of the paddle sticking out. And then I went over to my right, and uh, I said this to you yesterday. Like I, I, uh, 
I, I remember taking two gulps of water in and uh, my eyes were open, which I usually don't open my eyes underwater, which is bizarre. And, uh, you know, I had my life jacket and I've said it to you, I had it on, but I didn't have it tightened properly. So, divine, right? so like, that, like, I wouldn't have let you go. Like divine was on shore. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. around the corner. And she said, you're not going on unless because you said you didn't have your life jacket or something like that earlier. And you, you went home. And that's it. why it took, that's why it took me longer to get there. Right. Yeah. yeah too. Yeah. That's the other thing. Right. So you had it. So that's a big thing. I mean, remember the two guys that we saw, the two older gentlemen in the piranhas. Yeah. They weren't. They didn't have life jackets. They were in jeans and no life jackets too, right? Well, no, they had their life jackets. I think on the on the front of it, right? Ah, they did have light, but they were wearing it. Though. Not wearing yeah. it, thing. So now, so uh, you're in like a sitting, a sitting kayak. Yeah, a sitting so kayak, which I've been in and I've used multiple times. But and did you get out never had an issue quite easily. Yeah, you yeah. know what? I, I literally I popped out like a, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I popped out of it like a. <laughs> however it happened I, I'm, I'm thankful that i how, how i popped out and uh like i said i remember taking the two gulps and i remember like this is i've told you like how my work brain thinks in certain situations even though things are happening quick it, my brain kind of slows it down I, I remember still looking over at the one guy on the opposite side where divine was before and he's still casting <laughs> he's like casting and i remember seeing him well, no, no, he wasn't. He was worried so about trying to catch you the gold eye. You, bro. <laughs> and then, and then, like, then there's a like a kid who helped me who finally pulled me out at the end. And he's like, I'm kind of saying help, right? Because I'm trying to say help. And he's like, Are you? And I remember him saying this. Are you serious? Do you need help? Is what he said to me. Well, because <laughs> you were flow. The line said like you were pretty close to shore already. And it was well, like, but yeah, I, you're, like, I guess you're panicking a little bit too. There's some panic. Well, the thing there. is, yeah, I guess like. The, panicking reference of where you are like i knew i was close but at the same time right like i knew that i i knew that i couldn't panic because it would make it worse but like it's just like how you guys do the ice fishing videos and that it's like having the like i was wearing sweatpants i was wearing like those wet boots like you had on and uh that water was cold though there's still you know, ice like, the water was the water was cold i could feel that you know i was trying to get my legs up to kick but i felt the weight of the water in my boots right yeah. So, and then I made it and I was like, literally just, uh, you know, I, I was like a washed up whale, half on shore, half on, half on land, just trying to catch my, catch my, uh, breath. Right. So, well, and I remember well, one person walking over, I didn't even see his face. He came over just to like reassure me, just to make sure I was checked if I was okay. And I just laid there and like, I was, I was fine. Kind of like, it's, uh, you know, I want to say ego thing too, but at the same time, I'm, uh, very thankful that, uh. I'm joining you guys, and if you guys can win some catch and cook tonight. If you're just <laughs> joining us, Leon is sharing a terrifying tale from the water early. In, you get it out of the way now. I mean, it's a good lesson. Like we're we're talking, we're launching a kayak trail here and stuff. But especially, like you can go in at any time from shore or in the boat or wherever. Well, especially in a kayak, you can tip it or you can go in. You know, and having the life jacket was huge. I'm always I'm I'm there's no one. I'm an ambassador yeah. for the Life Saving Society of Manitoba there, and always pushing that stuff. Uh, so glad that you were wearing it. You weren't yeah, wearing a Mustang. I'm... If you were a Mustang, if that was a Mustang life jacket, it would have taken you to shore on its own. You wouldn't have had to kick or nothing. But no, or would have taken like me some body or, or, or the fish ladder, and then I would have been with a pike and whatever else were there. <laughs> the, 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 the funny or scary thing was like, there's falls there, right? Eh? Yeah, like there's falls, and like you're like, I was joking when I went in, like like, oh, don't if I start going towards the falls, cast towards me, and I'll pull me <laughs> in because there's falls. You can go over the falls. <laughs> Well, I mean, here's the one thing. Like, I did think of that too. I was like, if I can't make it to shore, hopefully the current takes me there because I, I remember seeing what what it was like there, and it wasn't that bad, right? At least I would have hit. Fly. Well, well, at least I would have hit the wall, right? So I would have had something to grab onto. But uh, I know you have another. Pick. So that is Nashi. Yeah, and Nash were out there uh, today. The launch, like where Leon went in, was just really a, a cast behind Nash there. Yeah. So you could have went over here actually a little bit. I would have been bumped your head or something but we were out rescuing fish every year we go there to rescue fish we were a little too late for this uh gold eye uh it, it was fresh it just it was it was moving a little bit but it was like it, it died it died so that's catfish bait now but uh we rescued a drum i was gonna say <laughs> yeah it was dead we rescued this drum though this drum was uh like this one got released nicely it was yeah. alive still it was it was pinning the rock so we released that this morning so that was cool so we were out there and then we ran into uh 
Some of you may know Brett Gardner from the first 39 hours. I think he was Aaron's partner in that first one, was he? No, it was Manny. Brett Gardner was in it, though. But anyway, he rolls up and, are you, are you taking all my fish? And Oh, shit, what's going on, bro? He goes, uh, what are you doing? We're rescuing fish like we do every year. Oh, I know. I went to check the other day, and I didn't see nothing. Because he gave, they just redid that dam again this year. Redid it, loaded up with rocks again. And he, they, him and Aaron are complaining to the, the guys in the RM and stuff that, you are killing fish. They're like, there's no net there or something. They just tumble over. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll see carp. You'll see perch. You'll see crayfish, pike, saugers. So now it's a drum and a gold eye. And he's like. Well, there's a little, there's a little V or a slide, I guess, in the middle. But do fish know to go to. They don't get do fish know that, to though. use the slide, right? No, well, it's, it's not a it's real fish. Funny, it's funny that if somebody does something in one of the lakes where they build a dock or something, they got to jump through hoops. These guys just drop rocks and. Wherever they want, everything. <laughs> they did it again. They just did something again too. Like it does, it does look different again this year. So it's like a but double I mean, standard. Fish are dying though. I mean, like they're like, can you send me pictures? And I go, yeah, shit. They're we're always stuck, there. It's like right? five minutes from home. I'll send you pictures. And there you go. We rescued. Well, we didn't rescue the other one. Yeah. And then which reminds me, I should go to uh, what's the one where the big wheel is there on Portage Avenue near the hospital? Sturgeon. Sturgeon. Because I'm sure they, I'm sure they're in the same situation there, right? So. Nah, they're fine there. They don't. Well, they got that ladder, right? They have the yeah, ladder off the side. Too. Cold but, water uh, shock, Ironman Dave can overwhelm even the most experienced. The splash of cold water in an emergency suit will make your make your breathing faster. That's why you took two gulps then, because it shit that yeah. water is uh, cold, man. Here's the good thing, Leon. At least it it's happened shocked. where it did, because if you were yeah. in a river, you would have probably had some Winnipeg sewage in your throat. Yeah. Or now you just else, got right? the nitrates <laughs> out of the now you, yeah. all you got is like just all the uh, runoff from all the farmers' fields. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I'm used to that from I'm used to that from last year looking for uh, suckers, so that's fine. Glad you're okay, Leon. Flipping a kunurkek in cold water, seriously, like the shock of the cold water is something else. It's true, though. A Manitoba man's first guy experience. He misunderstands how to scope for fish. Oh, it's like so words of wisdom now from Gary. Did they put up <laughs> a sign for the fish, like those deer crossing signs? No, if they put a sign, that might have helped those fish. I think if if anything, now I'm looking for two two other kayaks as outriggers on my side. I think you need like, you know, time. when you showed us a picture of that on our chat there, you showed us a picture and I said, stay the hell away from that thing. It's a POS. And then you bought it anyways. Wow. It's like a, yeah. it's a cruising kayak. So like, like it's, the like sit-ons have the like, back, uh, it's so narrow at the back. Yeah. They're yeah. flat, right? They have like a tri-hull almost. And then like the, the cruising ones, like a really, it's just one keel. Yeah. And you just got, you just got to get your speed. It's like riding a bike almost with these things. It's not, it seems like it's not really meant for just sort of floating. And it's actually, what? it's a 10 footer, right? Yeah. 10 footer, yeah. Yeah. So it's too small for you. Because I'm not being rude. It's just too small. No, no, Mike. Yeah. No, I don't you, understand. You need like a 12 footer. Looks like yeah. a 10 footer is good for Eric because he's a little guy. <laughs> Who needs a camera? I got goggles. <laughs> I, was, I was like, like, I was joking with Leon. All right. So much for our dry run. Like we were going for a dry run on these kayaks or whatever. <laughs> One of us wasn't dry after. <laughs> like remember no. when you took Val's out? Yeah, yeah. Well, not you, Leon. Yeah. He, he like survived it's that a one. Lot, it's a lot stabler than Stabler, that, right? right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. definitely. So. Uh, Enjoy the best caption. Yeah. Best caption, win some catch and cook, so. All I know is if I tip my kayak this year, it's going to be expensive. If you're looking to stay alive. <laughs> and there, there you go. That's a 10-foot ascend, Leon. Yeah. That's that Cabela's one. And brand new, the 10-foot ascends are $800. Brand new. So now you're talking a little lower than that, probably, for a used one. Right? Yeah. So there you go. There you go. There's nothing and, wrong uh, with the Pelican in the water. Either. The, Pelican one, the Pelican one I showed him, you could get it for 500 bucks. That's why Leon's as well. a migraine. Yeah. Yeah, this probably went up into his body so fast it hit him in the brain. <laughs> Inverted. <laughs> Inverted. <laughs> and just like and just like in stand by me, I got home and I had a leech on my balls. Ouch. <laughs> anyway, recap. that wasn't a leech. <laughs> Re recap, recap here on Harris <laughs> Chain. Uh, we're, we're gonna leave Leon for alone for a second, and we'll come back to that because I can't get enough of the banana boat there. But uh Gussie watch. 32nd place on the Harris Chain of Lakes in Florida. Not too bad. Not too bad. No, he's actually having a good start no. to the season this year. Yeah, it's good. Better, better than last year, man. 
lots of points, you know, like, I mean, securing his place in a Bassmaster Classic, probably again, maybe three tournaments yeah. in. So that's not too bad. And then uh, next tournament is on St. John's, like literally next week. So if you didn't enter the Bassmaster Classic. No, it's, it's, it's this like week. This weekend, oh, this, this weekend, week, bro. It's, it's this week. Days. Yeah. Two Basically, days, yeah, man. like this three days. It just ended. So, like the, They had a special uh, championship Monday because they actually yeah. got winded out on, on Thursday. Yeah. So, yeah, like it just starts in a few days. Practice is only two days, apparently. Two days, nine it's hours, short, man. Minutes. Yeah. So you got to make your picks. Put your picks in for fantasy. Good job there, Gussie, though. Nice work. See how Gussie wears the Mustang, bro? That's the shit right there. Lee. That's the one that swims back that. to shore, bro. That'll swim back to shore, bro. And uh, a lot of the guys who are finishing uh, top, like higher last year, really aren't aren't there right, like this year yet, right? So I know a lot of guys seem to be struggling this year, but uh, Gussie seems to be pretty consistent here, right? Jeff is attaching a buoy to the live scope in the kayak. Man, I, I don't know, but just bring it. Yeah, sure, bring that. I'm not I'm not confident as myself to to put the electronics in there, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have electronics in mine. I just I'm not gonna end up dropping it, bro. <laughs> Tony's TikTok. We're going to get the fantasy in a second. Oh, Suyus, BC. Nice work, Gord. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you out at Dickhead Point uh, coming up. Whole live baits in this province is ass backwards. Live bait? No. Oh, no, live baits. Is, oh, geez. Uh, that might <laughs> There's another happen. topic, man. John Garrett won, though. So shout out to John Garrett. We led from wire to wire. Did you watch uh, it at all today? Today I did, yeah. I watched some. Did you see what happened to JT Tompkins? Twice. Oh. No, what happened? He got one on that he figures was eight pounds earlier yeah. in the day. Lost it. Lost the at like and at the boat or happens. what? It happens. Yeah, right by the boat. And then yeah. later in the day, he was fishing. Uh, like I guess he was finding trees, like just uh, clumps of trees in the water. Yeah, deeper. And he was pitching into him, and he hooked one, and he figures it was bigger than the eight because he could tell on his live scope. And it got wrapped in a tree. Literally, for 10 minutes, he tried to get it free. He even Rich. phoned Lisa and asked, him if, asked her if he could jump in and go get it. Yeah. You're not allowed to do that. But you can, no. you can grab the tree and do all you can to try and untangle it, though. So, so they always, like everybody always says, when it's your time, it's your time. Nothing can ever go wrong, right? It wasn't JT, JT's time right now. No, and that's the thing, right? And then Garrett ends up catching one right after he lost that one fish. I'm trying yeah. to see if I have anything with trees here. You know what I mean? You guys always got the segues. This is the closest thing I have to trees. If your friend wants to climb a tree over a river to get a $3 lure, encourage him. It might be funny. No, it's the same. Do you have a handsaw? No. I just don't trust this guy that I'm sitting No, no, trust it, man. It's fine. It's fine. I would, I would trust that branch with my life. Brian, I, you got this. <laughs> no. That's Santos, man. Uh, yeah, I was, gonna, I was just going to say, bro. <laughs> retrieve a $10 lure back, man. Oh, my that God. That was me he when was I cranked it. Make me go back for jigs, so I just speed up a little bit faster so they just snap the line. Just break it. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's uh, me getting caught there, in the palm tree and like the monitor. <laughs> Santos, oh my god, this is cool. Here, uh, cool stats from the tournament. Uh, this is the fifth straight elite series tournament that has been won by an angler under 30 years old. Like this, the top 10 today on Harris Chain, like eight out of the top 10 were rookies. Yeah, was, I thought it was eight. Yeah, it's eight. Something like that. it's a shit ton of them anyway, eight. for sure, man. Rookies, oh. bro. Uh, seven, I think it was seven, seven out of top 10. Man. One, two, three, four. Because what you got, Jason Christie, who he's been on for a while. Jordan well, Lee's a vet. Jordan too. Lee. Yeah. Jordan Lee. He's a young guy, uh, but he's a vet. And then uh, KG Queen was in last year. Yeah, so that's, then, yeah, that's usually sucks. What's his name there? The lawyer. So that's four. So six. Six. That's, she was more, more than stable half. than the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would trust. I would trust that branch more than Leon's kayak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. I think it was five. It was half. Five. Oh, half the just field, yeah. I think at one at one point though during the week, on the weekend there there was like seven of them. Seven like, or eight. Yeah, we're in a crazy. Top 10. Oh, yeah. bunch. Hey, yeah. Yeah, there was a bunch of that. Like, 
it just goes to show. I mean, man. You, you know what I like though? These guys, they're they're they got picked on at the beginning because they were live scoping all the time. Mm -hmm. But now they're consistent in the top ten and they're doing everything. They're pitching Jays top water. Yeah, this was a lot of pitching. at this one. There's a whole pile of pitching. So uh if you're picking your picks this week, uh short practice and anyone who was in the top ten, so they had to fish today. Yeah, and a lot of them are tired, man. They said they're gonna sleep in tomorrow, so they're only gonna pra probably practice one day. So I wouldn't count on any of these top ten guys doing well, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? Maybe they're on a high. <laughs> who knows? I give up That's some of the handicapping. I did okay. I did okay. I had three in the top, like I picked Aya Canelli actually, Jordan Lee, and had Brandon Lester, who should have been in the top ten. He sort of shit the bed yesterday, but I was only in fifth place. Holy shout God. out to uh, Oh, oh, I was down down. again. Yeah, slipped shout out of the chair. Uh, I don't even <laughs> see myself up there. Shout out to oh, you're 21st, Mikey, just underneath uh Danny, just underneath Danny Toth there. But uh, Learbag, Jaden Simon's close second, uh, 17th for me. Ooh. Actually. Look at look at Hempstone, like Mike Hempel, like he won last year, the whole thing for us. Yeah, and he's up there again. He's always up there, man. He's always yeah. up. I don't know if he has a key yet, though, but. Gabe Alves has a key now. You've got a key, bro. Every yep. tournament win gets a key towards the championship here. So this is the fourth out of uh, 10 events. Uh, Clayton Schick was up here. Who else? Kevin Lowen. Island Beach made it up there. Jerry Esau is in the house. Leon Devine was up there. You know, Mike Gurdon. I don't know where Santos is. You must have sucked this. I was in 26. I picked Scott good. Martin. Scott Martin was my lowest. That's, that's what shit the bed for me was Scott Martin's 70th place. Yeah, I picked guys that were supposed to be good on fucking sight fishing, and they might as well just pluck their eyes out because they suck. <laughs> Gabe Alves finally won one. You're always at the bottom of the yeah. standings. That's why Santos didn't even know. Who's Learbank? Who's Learbank Sevla? <laughs> Who's Sevla? He's been Sevla. trying forever, bro. He's there. <laughs> the that's not gang is just not pretty much oh, that's what happened. said it. <laughs> What's that, bro? That's not pretty much how you said it. No, I say, what the fuck? Don't you always know who Learbag is? Jesus Christ, man. The guy's <laughs> been watching for seven years, years, man. Years. Holy crap. What That's is going on, man? This is I, I'm having a rough... I it's told you, I got a headache. Consistently over there. I'm surprised you still have your phone, Leon, after that dip in the, the water. I even have water. You got water on the brain here, too. Gunning for him. You had that for a while. For oh. <laughs> Speaking of kayak, the Central Canada Kayak Trail. Officially, Ooh. it's a go. Let's go. Catching Cook, Stillwater Adventures, Mustang Survival, Two Rivers Boat Works, helping out already. We've got a few more sponsors, I'm sure, uh, coming on board here. Just got to get official word from them. But these are the stops. May 19, LDB area. So you could be on the Lee there. You could fish Dickhead Point there, Gord Fraser, Bird River kind of thing. Uh, full rules. I'm still hammering them out here. I got to finalize the rules here. But uh, it'll be catch photo release. We've got that. What's the name of that board, Mike? It's a special catch board. Yeah, that's what it's that's called. It's called catch. It yes. flat. It floats. Does it float? Catch board. No, they don't float. So they got to be like tethered or something. Oh yeah, tether everything, man. Everything's tethered. Tie everything, bro. No one for tethers. Yeah, but that'll be available at Stillwater Adventures if you're uh, joining the tour. You don't have to join every event. You can join one, join all. Uh, if you do earn enough points, though, you're the top two scores. Someone's top two scores. Uh, count for the standings for the trail championship, and that'll be no entry fee for that one there. So, stop number two, June 23, Pelican Lake. We're going to Western Manitoba here for walleye from the kayak. Stop number three, August 18, Shoal Lake Bass. So, we're gonna centralize that at uh, Clyde. We'll probably have rules where you can launch at different places. So, that's sort of a uh, kind of discussion we'll have here. Trail championship is gonna be on Longbow for bass. I want to eh? petition to the committee to make that. Walleye and bass. Wouldn't it be nice to multi species, Mike? Multi species. I don't would be care. Cool. You can make it whatever you want. <laughs> Two stringers of three. So much for the discussion there. Okay. Six <laughs> three total. One. All right. I, I'm thinking, I, I just want to go for large mouth on longbow. So there are largies there. Though. Where's there the first are, one oh, launching man. from? Uh, so that, so we'll talk about that right now. Is that it's you can launch really anywhere. So we have a central place where, uh, just like the icebreaker, if you're familiar, you got to come get your your serial number. Like yep. you're gonna, everyone has to get their own ruler for this one. 
but you're gonna bring your ruler. You slap a serial number uh, taggy on it. Uh, you got to register check in. So that'll be a central place uh, somewhere out there. One of those launches, if it's uh, tall timber or something like that. And then you can go launch in or out of the water. Your photos will have your GPS sort of uh, watermark kind of thing. Uh, but same format. We'll have a central uh, way person. Waymaster for this one is divine. So she'll get all the scores. We'll have a live stream the last three hours of each event. If you want to change spots, you can change spot. You go load up. And drive again as long as you're on a legal body of water for that tournament. You want to go from whatever Lactabani town to Bird River, mm -hmm. pick up your kayak, drive over, and drop again, kind of thing. Uh, so you're good to go there. Pelican Lake will be doing it from Nanette, I think. Maybe Strathcona, if we can organize something from there, Strathcona would be better, some central part of the lake. But we've got Nanette. Show Lake will be at Clyde, like I said, will be a sort of a central thing. Then you can go, I don't know, you can go to Kajik if you wanted to, or something like that. Not too many places from there. We probably will be at Show Lake, yeah. and then Longbow, I believe, will be out of Reddins. That's not a giant lake, but you can go anywhere there too. So, can you use it? I, I, I'm gonna have to build a freaking trailer for my kayak because once I get everything on it, I'm not taking shit off till the end. Of I know I, this part That's of all the heavy, bro. It's part of the strategy <laughs> stuff. If you start having a kayak, you're gonna get like a Jay Siemens yak, and it's got all kinds of crazy shit on it. Yeah, you get all the accoutrements. It's, can you use a kayak trailer motor? Yes, our battery. Yeah. You can use a trolling motor, yeah. Electric only, though. I know some, you know, kayaks are powered with gas even, uh, but just electric, just electric. Yeah. Uh, you know, so no, this is a no two-stroke kind of thing. It's just one with nature, except with yes. electric power, I guess. The electric power. Well, pedal yeah, drive, pedal power drive. Power drive is everything, good. man. I started building my plate for my <laughs> my bow mount trolling motor today. So there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely I'll be trying it out this weekend. You're going to have a fancy rig there, brother. Any brand works, any whatever, like no experience necessary. I mean, all whatever. I mean, if you're just in the market, you want to try it out kind of thing. This is a fun way. Uh, yeah. It is $200 entry, though, per tournament. $200 entry, uh, cash prizes, and other prizes, too. We've got all kinds of stuff uh, to give out for this. So huge thanks to our sponsors coming in. That'll be Every, everyone's boat identifies as a kayak now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Generate it. Use a trolling I motor on it. <laughs> He's got a big ass battery there. So these are all one day tournaments, Sundays. Uh, like we said, the trail championship. Like I said, everything will be on kickerfish.ca. Uh, I'm gonna hammer the rules out. That should be out tomorrow at some point. Um, uh, and yeah, that'll be a no no entry fee for the championship, and that'll be like a a certain percentage, maybe a quarter of whoever enters. So if we have 20, then it'll be five yeah. at the championship. If we get 40, then it'll be eight. No, yeah, ten. Be fun. <laughs> ten, bro. Doing math, bro. Ten <laughs> is the smokes. quarter. It would max at ten, though. Back, back to your 10. question, I think it should. The championship should be multi-species because you've got a bass, a walleye, another bass, so you might as well have them both. Bass and walleye. I like it though. I, I would. I wouldn't mind a multi-species angle. It's just that you. It was just the scoring part I had to like figure out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I said, two stringers, two stringers at three. I have to figure well, out. Well, no, you can. No, but. Have three, I mean, yeah, you should make it both. You could have three you three bass and two walleye in the stringer. Oh, okay. Now, do, now, now, do you have to get that? Like, you can get all bass or you can target all walleye part of the strategy? Yeah. Uh, no, I think you, you make a mix that way. Oh, I see. Right? Then it that helps the scoring. It. That helps the scoring. Yeah, it helps easier, the scoring, right? right? Makes it easier. For, for equivalency, right? yeah, it does help the scoring. If you go, like, your max is three bass. Yeah. Uh, if you filled your bass already, you're satisfied with that, go for walleye. I like that. Yeah. I like that. There you go. That's why we're talking about this, bro. Pike Derby. Yeah, who knows? We'll be having all kinds of exhibition stuff. I already, like, Josh McFadden was like, why aren't you doing Lake Winnipeg? You're afraid I'm going to win? Because that's his specialty. There's a few. <laughs> there's a handful of people with, like, Winnipeg kayakers are uh, pretty good out there. And yeah. may Maybe maybe down the road or maybe next year we keep going with this or whatever. Uh, we'll do have some exhibition events for sure. Just some. It's going to turn into a big, just a group thing, you know? I can see it turning into a club, basically. Club kind of, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go right, fish in different places. We'll go over here, Fort White over here, or something. We'll Whisper Wednesdays and kayaks. Yeah, I know. Holy, it's pretty cool in the kayaks. Netly Systems got crappie. I'm gonna be searching for crappie out of the kayak this year and stuff. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun, man. If you're in the market for it, like I said, uh, I'll show you here. I'll show you some different. Uh, I'll show you places like like what they cost. I was when I was traveling in Ontario last week. I was looking for places, but uh, cool uh, article by Nick Whiting. Nick Whiting yeah. is on the board. He's on the executive board of helping us out and trying to figure out rules and stuff. But that's not Nick there. That was a guy uh, fishing. But they, they ran a test event last year. Was it on Show Lake? 
It was on no Royal. It was no. on Royal Lake. Royal Lake, yeah. Royal Lake. Uh, they had 11 yaks out there. They didn't yeah. ran one. It was good. It was good. It was awesome, man. So it's fun, man. Uh, check that article out on uh, kickerfish.ca. Cool article there. Uh, Nick himself was, uh, he was fishing. Like, kayak on the Bassmaster series is actually getting bigger and bigger every tournament. And he did a few events down there and he, he cashed a bunch of checks fishing in Texas. But well, then he finished uh, what top 20 and he top 15 were going to the Bassmaster Classic for walleye, right? For, for all, I mean, pretty sorry for bass, the bass, bass, bass yeah. kayak classic, I guess. I should yeah, say yeah, so. yeah. He was close, man. He was, yeah, right he was close. Falcon would be or, great too. Lots of gonna, gonna, like they just had that uh, kayak one on the weekend. I think they had like 200. They did. Teams. Yeah, 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 like 200 kayaks in there, man. 200, eh? Paddling sounds Damn. like too much work. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Paddling. Paddling sounds like too much work. Staska says <laughs> that's why you got to get a pedal one. <laughs> whoa, 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 the cake cake. Easy there, easy. There. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is, is there extra points for keeping it up right? <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. It's a good article by Nick there. Ah, these guys are just going to drink instead. Uh, cool stuff. Nick actually went up against in the NBA last year. He went up against all of us boats. And he finished. He did, yeah. what we, fuck, he finished, like, finished in second or third or something out of the kayak last year. So, oh, yeah, this again. Oh, if you're just joining us, caption, uh, best caption Win some catch and cook packages here. Uh, gluten free. Gluten free, by the way. Brand new from catch and cook. Find that in stores now. Let's go. Stas guy, saw you at Icebreaker. I was supposed to give you all your spices. I still have it here. I haven't I haven't used them. They're sitting here, bro. Staska. Next time I see speaking you. Speaking of there you go. Hey, speaking of Leon uh, tipping over, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. I gotta get to bed here. I'm smoking. <laughs> No, I'm not joking, man. He doesn't I'm, want to hear the other. He's got no, his mic. Hey, go go hey, well, let hey. you watch who the winner is, bro. But uh, oh, go! I, I'm glad that everybody uh, is thankful I'm here. They are. <laughs> uh, but hey, go ahead, have a laugh. Uh, it, you know, I if I you know if I can laugh at it hey. a little bit, I guess it's you're fine now, bro. You should have listened you're to the old now, brother. You should have listened bro. to this old fucker and didn't buy that guy out. You're that it lesson probably dry. is going to save someone's life because we're going to keep pushing it where you you should you have your life jacket. Gotta you know keep the life jacket seen? on, man. Remember we yeah. saw Jip. You're watching right now, Jeff Matthias. He he had some beast of the week and he's in his kayak, no life jacket on. That's right, yeah, yeah. In the back, you know what I mean. We're going to keep pushing this, man. So like, yeah. this is the whole point of it, man. I mean, we we'll always have fun with everybody here. And I guess uh, the whole I'm point just, is that yeah, to push the safety rule and. <laughs> I'll, before I jump off, I'm like I've been researching lots of, you know, kayak things and what I need in that. And I know there's uh, there's like throw bags for people to to uh, you know to throw to them if they tip under, right? Like what happened to me. But uh, you know, I think even me shore fishing now, I'm gonna uh, you know throw one of those in my little tackle bag when I'm on the shore because uh, throw bag. Yeah, like because yeah. like I I I don't want to be that person like that guy. Like I'm sorry who said like, do you really need help? Like. You, you, I, know. I, yeah. I, I just go tip kayaks for the hell of it. Like Gra grab a stick or something. I don't know. I well, no, like that's that's what I mean. Oh, like, and, and oh, you know, man. I'm thankful. To, go ahead, finish. I'm thankful that they pulled everything out and everything's there. Uh, like, you know, I don't, I don't think I lost anything. Maybe I lost a few dollar ammo baits, but uh, we'll uh, we'll replace those on payday. <laughs> you, you think you didn't put your electronics in there, man? You know what I mean? Like, it's good. Like, yeah. it well, hey, good, like, right? Once you and, tip and, it, boy, everything's gone. And as I say what happened to me, like I follow this guy on YouTube, this Mr. Jackson, J-A-X-N. He's a big kayaker and uh, he's got a flat one like you have and like with the pedal drive and that. And he uh, he tipped his over yesterday. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he lost a couple of rods and everything and, you know, he's thankful for it. But uh, whatever, man, like it can happen to anybody. Like I know it's me, but, uh, you know, we, we know Mike's told his story about how him and Val got in that accident and you know, we've all had a moment like that in our life, right? So, oh, yeah, man. So, I mean, if oh, anyone gets yeah. anything from this, ladies, now we're talking with Jeff now, at least. Both life jacks aren't meant for kayaks. I hear you. You got it. There are, I mean, it's not the most comfortable. I was wearing my Axel 100. Yeah. yeah. I, ha I have a Chimera that I'm going to use that's more like a bulletproof vest. It's really slick. The I tried the Axel. You're right, the back here, but they have kayak vests that have a mesh at the back only so you can sit back properly. Yeah. Uh, you know, an inflatable at least is better than nothing. You should have an, an inflatable still works. People use that, you know, if you're a confident okay. swimmer, people have belt packs, but you should have like inflatable you should have belt something, packs. man. Right. I yeah, got yeah. one that says it, sample on it. I, I'm telling you, bro. I, I, I really don't think you should be using that sample. <laughs> it floats though. We tested it. It floats. 
But it's just okay. simple. Oh my God, man. But anyway. Gentlemen. All right, Leon. Okay, Peace out, get some Leon. Ibuprofen, yeah. brother. Yeah, love you guys. Bye bye. All right, bro. Okay. Bye. See you later. He does have a migraine. He's prone to migraines, but he was like, legit. Leon was like, he was like, holy shit, I'm a little shaken up here. Well, yeah, shit. You go into cold water, you swallow some water. So now if you swallowed water, <sighs> If you ever swallowed some water, and I was like, oh, even if you are a strong swimmer, you swallowed water? Especially the river water. Oh. That kind of water, and it's cold. Like you said, cold water, yeah, man, man, it just shocks the body, right? So, so the whole point here is, wow, we're going to talk about it today a little bit at your expense, bro. But we want to push, like, shit. Could have the life jackets, man. I, I think it's just a, the fact that even though, like, we're all trying to save money, you still got to buy the most stable kayak that you can. Yeah. We'll talk about it. We'll get into that. I can stand yeah, on one man. side of my kayak and it's pretty good, but we'll see what happens after I do all this other work to it. Yeah. We'll see how, how what I can get away with, what I can't get away with. So Hayden's buddy took his phone out. Like, I mean, sometimes the instant like the instinct now is is to well, we gotta film this. Like <laughs> Hayden went into the water. <laughs> Divine was filming too, actually. That's how we have these pictures. You got the picture, but then, yeah. But she stopped and they go, Hey, you need help actually. So I don't have I don't have video of actually of like Leon like trying to get to shore and stuff because you have to, you stopped the video, right? And, Actually, we don't even have a video of him tipping over because when Divine saw him starting to go over, when he when Leon talked about putting his paddle down, yeah, she already stopped. He goes, Holy shit, he's going in, kind of thing. And so we don't even have a video of that, actually. So that's the like that photo is like right before he's about to go in there. So yeah, man. Yeah. So uh, yeah, shit. You gotta be careful. Yeah. Anything can happen, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not quite Red River yet. LaSalle, bro. We didn't hit the Red River yet, bro. So you're okay. Yeah, just no sewage there yet. Farm water, still farm water. Kind of <laughs> just cattle and pigs. But in my in my travels, like so, this is so this is these are this is a pelican here. Like there, this is at Ramacos in Sudbury, and they're we're way behind out here, man. I mean, kayak fishing is a big thing out there, out west and out east. It's huge. It's just yeah. on the prairies where it's starting to catch up here. So see if we can get some more people into the sport. But uh, there's a there a whole pile. Their whole store was full of them. Uh, this Mirage, remember I was saying the high end is like four grand? Shit. Even this more Mirage than that. Pro Angler is like seven, bro. Jeez. <laughs> but Hob Hobie is the most expensive one, right? That's your highest end. I guess yeah. you can say Pelican would see more or the Ascends. There's, there's one like mine right in there. Wilderness? The purple one. It's Perception. Oh, Perception, yeah. That's that what perception. it is, eh? Yeah. That's a nice one, yeah. So they have a bunch there. Like Those are so your price ranges. This was in Aurelia, Tron Blaze Tackle Box, one of my dealers there. But look at all the kayaks they had. Look at that. Like, Endless. All kinds. All kinds, man. Like, yeah. you know, cruising ones, whitewater ones, uh, yeah. you know, stand-up paddleboard version. Uh, but they had a whole pile of fishing kayaks, too. Like, like tons. And you sell all these? Yeah. Like, like they sell. Like, holy, jeez. We are way behind okay. here, man. They had Old Town. They had Hobie. A lot of cool units, you know. Oh, another Perception. And there's another. They sold Perception. This had a trolling motor on the back. See, yeah. I was thinking of doing that too, like one on the back, and I'm thinking, ah, I'll put it on the front. Put it on the front, bro. That's my buddy's gas on one front. is on the side. He put a metal a plate there, a mounting yeah. bracket. So it's like this. But wouldn't you like wouldn't you be like like turning? Ah, you gotta fight it a little bit, he says, but it works. I go, oh, I guess so, man. He used to take it out at Heckler a lot. Holy smokes. A heckler, eh? Then I'm checking the pictures out. He's wearing a life jacket all the time, though. So that's cool, man. Especially yeah. if you're going to big water like that and heckler. You'll end up in Churchill, freaking, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Shit. Audrey Dawson shared this. I don't always tell people where I fish, but when I do, it's a lie. It's a lie. I like that one there, man. But... <laughs> you, guys, you guys ever lie? You don't give out, you don't hand out GPS points, eh? <laughs> I, 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 I talk too much, actually. But <laughs> relating back to the kayak fishing, this is like Fluke Master. So this is Gene Jensen. If you follow him, he's he's awesome uh, at it. Does has a great channel. But Today sucked, he says. The only area I had left that had good fish got poached by someone who saw me catching fish there yesterday. He wasn't even in contention. So this is, we're talking kayak fishing again here still. So. Yeah. That's what I hate about tournament fishing. I put in the time and effort to find my own fish and someone else takes advantage of you. So he got hard. He got hard and he went online. And so <clears throat> what are your thoughts on that? Well, it happened, it's happened like to you one time there. People are going to do it, man. I mean, we can't stop them. They beat you there. They beat you there. Yeah. If they're, I mean, all if you can do is just fishing, right? squeeze on in. That's it. Just squeeze in. I like that. No. What do you guys think about that line? He wasn't even in contention. So that's like tournament etiquette. A lot of people don't know if, if you've been doing tournaments a long time. That's a thing, though. Like if 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 someone's in contention to win, 
or cash a good check up there and you know fish and water you, you you leave the water ah, but to them. you know what Eric, water. nowadays it doesn't there's no etiquette well hence shows like this where we can talk about it and maybe spread some i mean, I mean you, you'd want that to happen correct but sometimes yeah, i don't like, know you can see, you I mean, can see you, all sides of it everyone's paying their yeah. money into it right you're paying your own money into this tournament but it is true though like, like the old etiquette is like if someone's in contention you leave them alone so they you know like they can try and yeah. win this thing or whatever so you leave them alone you don't bother them and this guy's saying like this guy wasn't even contention and came and took his fish kind of thing his fish or whatever right honing in on his area gussie had his post there right like he was fishing not quite community this week but he said there was a tons of anglers coming in and out of mm -hmm. his spot this did and he, he gussie basically ran out of fish he said and he didn't have much else he, he did an off water offshore thingy mid tournament you know and sometimes mid tournament you're just trying to make something yeah. up as you go kind of yeah. thing you only found a couple but, of fish so like i know i've given way to people that were in contention like if i got there we talk yeah. Should have battled faster. <laughs> They'd Not say, "Yeah, no, we were here. We were here around the same time yesterday." All right, here you go. I leave. I have understanding if I see someone practicing there, right? Or on day one, you see him there. Yeah, little, little less forgiveness, or 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 yielding way. Yeah, if they're just leaderboard following, of course, or something like that, or whatever. But. but if it's Hayden Martin, I'm not leaving. <laughs> yeah, leave <laughs> I mean, I mean, some tur tournaments are so big you don't even know like who's like who's in it and right and stuff, right? So yeah. I mean, yes, I mean, I know us. We would like to if we're not in contention, we would we would give the spot up. But there's other people. We they don't know who these people are. I don't like right. So yeah, what do you, if you beat if you beat some to the spot, you have no idea if someone else the leader's been fishing it. So what it's, are you gonna do? It'll happen sometimes where you're going to a spot. People have GPS marks, whatnot. We're just like you yeah. know, you're you're swinging for the fences on day two, day three, day four. Go fish, you know, whatever place kind of thing. Uh, it just sucks. The only one I don't like is if it's purposeful. Where were they getting their fish at? Oh, they're fishing Johnson's yeah. Reef and uh, doing this and that. Next, thing you know, there's ten people at Johnson's Reef. You know, where a community like places get defined by community spots too, where those are fair game, pretty much yeah. fair game at all times. And then you, you get to know if you fish water lots, you know places that aren't community spots. And someone shows up, you're told, or <clears throat> like even if you knew about it, if you weren't fishing it for the tournament, it wasn't part of your pattern, like it wasn't part of your game plan, then you shouldn't yeah. really be it anymore if, if someone's using it. See, no, that's sure. the other problem with live imaging, right? Because now you can get to a spot, but if you're not on the spot, you're going to leave right away. Now with live imaging, you just look around and it's all, I'll just move over there because they're over there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There is etiquette in it. I don't know. With this kayak trail that we're doing here, I don't know. I'll be fishing more like like there's lots of group fishing too and stuff like that. You know, you're just trying to. We'll just we'll just all fish together. <laughs> I'm tired now. I'm I'm fishing yeah. here because I'm tired. If, if we all if tie the, together, nobody's. If dipping. the totally if the totally has a trolling motor, we're all gonna tie our kayaks together. I'm right? not. <laughs> you wouldn't even know that I'm hitched on it. The, the, totally, the totally let's go over there man if i can get 200 meters from it man that's bonus bro <laughs> that's bonus <laughs> but yeah i always i ever i noticed that like people then they go online and start whining about it i mean shit because it is still whining on there i mean i don't know i i would i would have finished better but people took my fish i mean ah shit i mean i don't know i, I agree with you there like like I, there is a lot of whining i mean yeah Maybe at the dock at the end of the day, you need to vent to somebody or whatever. Like you, you always hear the excuses. They eh? like shit. We got everyone's yeah. got this excuse. But he just whines a lot though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but I mean, if he if he saw him like the other day, like some other area, I mean, but they could see each other. And if this guy's seeing, hey, this guy's catching fish, you'd have to know for a fact that someone's like honing in on you that didn't find those fish. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's kind of like Randy Blockett of of kayak fishing. Yeah, he's always whining. Yeah. He's always whining about something. <laughs> That's my excuse, safety and numbers. Well, definitely so. I, I, I still will agree with that. You know where it well, is. Man. Certain drop in points. I'm still working on the rules and stuff, but yeah. Ryan Porsche, Jackson Reef, Johnson Creek. I'm fishing there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shaky, bro. I just made that shit up too, man. But he probably knows. <laughs> there is no, there is no Jackson Reef, bro. This is cool that I saw it there. Yeah, hey, I always look at AS at different places, of course, because it's not the same everywhere. Yeah, uh, but this was down. Uh, down in Ontario there. So round gobies, 
Ruds. I've heard of Ruds before. I've heard and of Ruds. Rough. And Rust. I've Rusty's. heard of all of them. Yep. The Ruds or the Gobies? Yeah, Gobies are like big. Gobies are big, man. So someone here, I've like heard, a, of, heard of all of them, though. Like all those. Well, definitely can't bring them over here, but we don't see these here. Rusty Crayfish is what's here already. We see that. For sure. Yeah. I'm they got Ruds they in have Alberta. Persian carp on there. Persian carp and Ruds are in Alberta, apparently. But illegal bait, illegal bait, it says illegal bait. And then Rusty's can only be used where you've caught it or whatever. So, yeah, yeah, this is a thing uh, everywhere. There's a new thing now in uh, one of my dealers in Alberta was complaining, or in BC, actually, that Alberta and Eastern BC have put in, uh, they've closed a whole pile of lakes, the kayaks. Really? Yeah, a lot of the river stuff, and you're like your whitewater paddling and stuff. But if like yeah. you wanted to kayak fish, like if you drive, you take Jasper to Banff, for example, that whole drive, there's a million lakes in there that people you just see them from the highway. They closed the whole pile of them because of AIS. So that's fucked. That just like it, they just reduced the whole pile of lakes that people can kayak out there now. So no uh, kayaks allowed for now. Right. Yeah, they said because yeah, they eh? found they found some AIS yeah. thing or whatever. Like, Holy shit. I didn't do my research on it yet, but I just talking to someone today and telling me it's just shit. At, at least know. you can just boil some water and throw it on your kayak and you're done. That counts still, no? I'm going to have to look at like, applying for the permit. We have to do the whole AIS thingy. So, yeah, that's enough hot water to do it. That'll do it. Yeah. So they're talking like Malax, Malax Lake. For American friends watching Malax and anyone fishes Malax and Upper Red Lake. New limits or no limits. So Red Lake, Zero. upper no Malak has Zero, no walleye. Eh? No oh. walleye until August 16. Like, like imagine, like, like, oh shit, like, like they, they close it big time there. You can you can target them, you can target them, but you can't harvest. And then on August 16, uh, you can harvest one. Yeah. Your your slot though is 21 to 23 inches or over 28. That's your slot. <laughs> That's your slot. A very yeah. specific slot, man. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> 21 to 23 or one over 28 and like in just yeah. one. So That's crazy, eh? Uh, it's a popular lake, heavily pressured. It's a huge lake. Yeah. But I mean the lengths that conservation will go to the biologists to protect the resource, I guess it can go that way. Meanwhile, you got Lake Erie. Lake Erie. Giver. Just Catch them all, man. Give her, Kill them all. Them all. Give Keep them, eat them all, all, bro. <laughs> they have limits, but there's no size, and it's just a huge limit per person. It's like eight a person or something like that. There's no size like, to it. Yeah. Do you really well, need that many fish? Big ones. Okay, so I'm 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 down at Gagnon Sports. So that's uh, that's Cooper Gallant's store there. Uh, he's the pro yeah. staff for them. I'm chatting with the guys. So on my bucket list is Erie. How far is it for you guys here? It's still a four hour drive from Oshawa to get to Erie. Uh, but people there do it, they say, once or twice a season because the walleye fishing is that insane. Like, we're talking greenbacks, but bigger even. Like, you're talking, you can bigger? legit get... Ooh. Yeah, 15, 16 pounders is, is yeah. doable, man. Damn. Whereas here, we're talking more, you know, 12, 11 to 12, 14, yeah. if you're lucky, 14. Uh, and they're like... so. But do you see all those pictures? I always see guides there and people fishing there. And they're just, they hold up stringers of like eight fish. And, oh, I'll tell you what, man. It sounds weird, guys tell me, but... 25 inches there tastes better. Yeah, eh? <laughs> I said <laughs> the 25 people really? want to keep 24 to 26 inches from liquor because they taste better out of there. Give me a break. I said, no, it's true. It tastes better. <laughs> well, I get, but look at all the pictures. They just take they take big fish out there. That's Lake Erie. Yeah. Like, look at that. So you got you know I, I, this doesn't look like he keeps just certain fish. This, this guy looks like he's whatever, whatever, he, whatever side. touches the net, man. <laughs> he's he's like a white Santos. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, my brother Santos, not me, bro. <laughs> you got you got two sides of the spectrum there. You got a place where you can't keep any, and then the slot's like 21 to 23. That's your slot. Yeah. Like, wow. Damn. And then you've got that's Eerie, a lot like, of that. Oh, but then you got the other one. Didn't we show last week the invade where walleyes are invasive? So catch them and kill them all, man. Right? Man. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's just uh insane. Interesting. Like shit. They're just this wild. I guess you just keep that much. White white pale fishing for sure there. Oh yeah, bro. It is yeah. that's that's bathtub fishing. Never mind. <laughs> white Never. pale fishing. Shit, I thought I had something on white pale here. Ah. Maybe next time. I had something on white pale. 
Ah, yeah. ah, next time. You're a fucking nerd. nerd. You're a fucking nerd. And no one likes you. Point no next one time. likes you. What the hell is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> what the That's, else. That's when someone cancels. When someone cancels last minute. We'll talk about that that next week. You can't no, that's the, the, the captain said when someone doesn't catch a fish and after an hour they want to go home already, man. Oh, yeah, you're being a bitch that way too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> look, Mike shaking his head, doesn't want to say anything, man. I know what? he wants to say, bro. <laughs> hey, seriously, is this safe? Yes, that is safe 50 50. 50 50, what like 50 percent we live, 50 percent we die. Yes. Bro, what the? Obviously, he doesn't know what 50 50 means. Oh my God. <laughs> People are still ice fishing, so be careful out there. Brandon Elliott is driving right now to go ice fishing. Yeah. Uh, 50 50. Be careful. Be careful. We'll get through Beast of the Week here quick. We've got one big smoke barbecue uh, contender here going out. Jason Cross, smoked bone in chicken breast, a bone in chicken breast. And a little prime rib. I like it, brother. Nice work there, too. Good job on the whole hungry food. already, man. Tip of the week. No. What Tip of the right? week. Buy, buy, a, buy, buy a, the right a, size a, kayak. <laughs> wear a life jacket. Yes, wear, wear a life jacket. jacket yes. kayak, for sure. We got a beast of the week here. We're in we're in transition time right now, so not too many. We got some late ice ones here. Mike Sietzka, Polska. Uh, uh, new I like personal the, guest. I like the pattern on that fish. Yeah, beauty Good color. Beauty gator there. Nice work, man. Good job there. 43 inches. Wait it. Oh, shit. I know where this pike went, bro. <laughs> I know where this pike went, man. He waited. He knows how much it weighed. <laughs> he weighed the fillets, bro. <laughs> all my Polish friends out there, they love their big pike, bro. It's all good. No, he didn't. I don't know. He actually, not allowed to. So. Not yeah. Well, oh, if it was Mazer, I'd believe it. It was Mazer. Mazer? Sure. That's, that's another team. <laughs> sure it, wouldn't, it wouldn't look that big with Mazer there, man. The whole tail doesn't count, bro. The whole the whole tail is in the shadow, though. So I guess there you go. It qualifies then. They get snuck in there. So, but yeah, <laughs> we're going to wait for a splake next week, brother. Let's see a splake coming up here. He's, he's almost there. So you yeah. should catch it tomorrow. But I think our beast of the, the week here has got to go to Anthony Kleinwalk. They're uh, out there on the Rainy River. Doesn't typically mess with sturgeon and walleye gear. He went up there for walleye, actually. Uh, but you can't help. You're going to catch sturgeon out there. And people go there for sturgeon too, either or. Yeah. He was able to get both, but they hammered the walleye. The traffic doesn't look that bad either, actually. I mean, from the photos. No. Yeah. But 30 inches. And these are just his two biggest ones. Never mind every other 25, 26, 27 that came out. Uh, and pitching Apparently jigs. They bro. caught a lot of fish out there. A lot of fish, man. One day, 30 pitching shallow. Next day, another 30. And look, look at that big paddle tail right there. Oh, my God. Jeez, man. See, that's how you can tell that Wally's big, man. Look at the tail yeah. on that thing. The cheeks, tail. you can tell cheeks, lips, and the tail. Yeah. Like I tell you, man. Like uh and pitching. Oh my god, pitching plastics. That's, that's, that's our pitch. dream, man. <laughs> that's our he's our he's our beast of the week contender for uh, April 15. Anthony Kleinwalk are there out of the nice. US. Appreciate your brother, Mr. Ion himself. Uh good stuff. Next week, we're gonna talk uh our last ice fishing show of the season. So we'll find a little bit of ice there and hopefully we get some photos. But we're going to talk awards. We're going to have our uh, hard water season awards. You know, top lures, top mm -hmm. uh, social media account, uh, top uh, beast of the season kind of thing. So we're going to have all that next week uh, to end the season for hard water season seven. Uh, we'll talk about looking forward, casting shallow for walleye. This is the time of year, man. This is like if you're ever going to catch them on artificials it's this is my favorite time of year casting and everything man oh yep. this is my this time is where eric burns his arms this is oh, this is my favorite time of year brother and it's gonna be earlier this year because yep. uh well ice is gone and no flood water no nothing you gotta wait for we'll walleye opener in manitoba but yeah oh there he is i need to get up there for some dinos <laughs> it's his name hey look at that yeah, right but you're gonna go there for the walleye bro you gotta go for the walleye yeah that's right nice futures banquet may 2nd can't forget that can't yep. forget that there may second get your tickets coming up quick yeah they're gonna be auctioning off all kinds of stuff including a quarter of a million dollar lot bro but someone's <laughs> gonna get a deal on it they won't it's be paying that you're gonna get it half price man something crazy something crazy we'll see trips they, they trip, win and stuff. you win yep 
and then yep. pretty soon it'll be uh open water tournaments definitely so bro. Is, uh need some some more people to jump in there right well, we're gonna does, get eh? on that too Take yeah. it to prairies that's that's coming up quick that's june uh, eight nine that's literally one of the first tournaments yeah yeah they got awesome the, stuff there one of the we'll first be, big tournaments yeah we're gonna promo that next week too there's all kinds of have a whole raffle there for a honda quad too all kinds of things kicker fish nice. will be helping out there this year actually doing a live stream out there but we're gonna promo that next week hard i'll tell yeah. you what one, that's all about one and gets to talk the other one sits behind the damn computer produce it bro we got a <laughs> producer on this one here but yeah all kinds of stuff so next week tune in same time same place to cast the next podcast who was the winner? I think Jerry has it. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry got, got it, man. It, right away. <laughs> Water levels are going up 15 feet, brother. I... 15 <laughs> inches, he said, not feet. <laughs> I would have been any any deaf man. Any good. feet, 15 feet would have been. <laughs> so uh, I, I guess if uh, this weekend. What's this weekend, bro? When do the hockey playoffs start? Oh, shit. The end of the season. Huh. Office pool. Well, we'll do it next week because we still have two more games left. Office yeah. pools, office pools. We're gonna ah, we'll do that next week. We'll show who won. We have, that. We have to look at the Jets' schedule because if they're on Monday, we're obviously not going on air. That's true. That's right. Yeah. Go Jets, go! Did you see that knockout? UFC? No. Holloway, Which one? Freaking one second left, bro. Hey, just knocked on you guys. Check that off. Oh, you guys didn't watch UFC this weekend. Holy shit. Jets seven nothing three nothing. We'll talk that next week. Playoffs. I don't want jinx. I, I'm not talking Jets because I ain't jinxing shit. Every time we like talk about it and we're jumping on this bandwagon hard and uh, <laughs> bandwagon, eh? No, we're gonna wait for the playoffs to start. We're gonna beat the shit out of Colorado. It'll be good. Whiteout party this week coming up though. But we'll talk next week. All kinds yep. of stuff. Uh, peace Sounds out, everybody. Good. Uh, thank you. Let's peace. go. <sighs> I gotta find that video that I was looking for. I couldn't find it, man. And I got all kinds of crazy. A beat that that hobby horse. Okay, yeah, well, what'd you what'd you say? The well, first we'll just say it again, bro. <laughs> Remember when you oh, start the... the music, all of a sudden your voice goes. Oh, we, we don't was, hear you, bro. I was swearing three times there, so uh, tune in next week to find out what I said there. Peace. <laughs>